things in my eye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is literally the highly requested video I've ever had on my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking you through my perfume collection. So I've been meaning to do this for, I don't know, a good six months maybe. <laughs> I don't know how long. Since I put up my top five favourite perfumes, I have something in my eye. But ever since I put up my top five favourite perfumes, you guys have been wanting to see wanting to see my whole perfume collection. So today I am finally filming it for you guys, just because it is so long overdue. <laughs> so long overdue. So what I might do guys is pop the fragrance notes in on the screen and um, just so you can have a proper description of what they like smell like instead of me just trying to explain. So if you haven't seen my top five favourite, I will link that somewhere. I can't ever remember which like, side it's on when I'm filming, but it will be popping up on the screen right about now. So I keep all of my perfumes <laughs> in a box like this. It's like a storage box and I keep that in my wardrobe just because, just because they get so dusty when they're on display and it just winds me up. So I've put them all in this little box and I pop them in the wardrobe. <laughs> So I think I've got all of my perfumes here. I did go through a lot of my like popular bags that I'd use just to make sure that I, there's no perfumes left laying around in there and there wasn't so I'm hoping that they're all in here. So I do have quite a few to get through. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So the first perfume I have here is the Juicy Couture and I think this is the, yeah, this is the Viva La Juicy. So this is just the little bottle. I had this in a set when I bought it either last year maybe even, the, no, last year, I think it was last year when I went on holiday, um, I bought this in a set and I also had body lotion with it, but I've used the body lotion and it was amazing. But this is um, Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. I love the packaging on this one. I love the fact the top is like a, like gold, not gold, <laughs> a glass like knob effect. Um, it just reminds me of like a bed post for some reason, I just don't know why. And a cute little pink uh, ribbon, pink bow, and then you have the gold detailing of the name of the perfume. This is such a sweet smelling perfume. I love it. I have two of the Juicy Couture's. I have this one which is Fever and Juicy, and then I also have the Juicy Couture which is the I Am Juicy Couture that has the gold bottle, uh, gold lid on the bottle. These Juicy Couture perfumes are amazing and they are by far two of my all-time favourite perfumes. Um, every time I wear these, I get compliments on them all the time. I can't smell them on myself, which apparently is a good thing. If you can't smell perfume on yourself after you spray it, then it suits your skin. It suits, that scent suits you. So whenever I wear these, I can't smell them on myself, but when I walk past other people or stuff like that, everybody always compliments me on the scent that I'm wearing. So these are two of my all-time favourite I absolutely love the Juicy Couture perfumes. This one is, again, is like a sweet smell. Oh, but I, I can't even describe. They're not like, I'd say they're a tiny bit florally, but nothing too major. The floral in the scent isn't like overpowering, you know, anything like that. It's more, definitely more of a sweet scent. But those are my two Juicy Couture ones, and I love them. They're amazing. So next up in my little perfume box, I have this. This is the Emporio Armani Diamonds Perfume. Now, I have to be honest, this is a good year old. It still smells fine, like. It still smells fine. This isn't my favorite smelling perfume, if I'm honest. I'm not a huge lover of this. Like, I don't mind it when I've like, been on you for a while, but I don't like it when it's first sprayed. I don't, I, I don't know if, I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't. This is very, a very strong perfume. And it reminds me like, it's like a woman's perfume, if that makes sense. I do like it, I don't love it, I don't wear it all that often, I don't really grab for it. In fact, <laughs> my ex bought me it. <laughs> well, it must be longer than a year old then because we haven't been together for two years, so. Perhaps this, perhaps this I don't like it, perhaps this gone. this have gone. I don't know, I might have to check with my mother. But yeah, it's not my favourite. It's nice, but it's not. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't repurchase it again. Like if our bottle goes, I wouldn't be buying it again. So next up we have the Marc Jacobs Violet. Oh, I bought this when me and my mum went on holiday to Mallorca and I love it. I have got a little bit left and I'm trying my hardest to like not use it because oh, I just love it. This was limited edition and you can't get it now. Well, when I've looked for it I haven't been able to find it so whether I need to do a bit more digging into the internet to try and find it but I love this. I have another Marc Jacobs perfume that I'll talk about in a minute that I love as well but I think I like this more. This is just, oh, it's just this stunning. Oh, I love it, I love it. This to me is like very, let me think, bit of sweet, bit of fruity, I don't know, I'm not really good at like describing things just to try and describe the smell. This is definitely one of my favourite, favourite, favourite perfumes that I've ever bought. Like, I wish they would bring this back and make it permanent because this is why I've still got a little bit left. I'm trying my hardest not to use it because once it's gone, it's gone and I don't want it to go. But like I said, this is definitely one of my favourites. I reached for that quite a lot, not that much lately because I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to hold off using it but oh, I do I just love it I love it next Marc Jacobs perfume that I have is Dot this is the big size this again oh, smells amazing oh I love it this is definitely fruity this has definitely got a it's quite dusty from being in my wardrobe damn but this is definitely a fruity smelling fragrance um I like this so much that I actually repurchased another bottle before this has even run out and it is currently in my wardrobe. Um, but I've actually lost a little butterfly, which I'm kind of getting about. But this Dot perfume is by far one of the best Marc Jacobs perfume out there, I think. I'm not a huge lover of like the daisy ones. I think they are quite florally and personally to me, floral is not my favourite like scent to go for off the bat like when it's mixed in with like another scent then yeah I don't really mind it but just a pure floral fragrance I don't really like and that's what I find the daisy perfumes to be for me by Mark Jacob by Mark as if I know him by Mark but Dot and Violet are definitely the best Mark Jacobs perfumes for me hands down I think this one yeah this one's permanent but I think I think I I've seen this online so I think this is permanent but this was limited edition so I'm not too sure if you can get this but if I can I will leave it in the description box and if I can find it then I'll be ordering the bloody another one but yeah they are definitely two of my favourites. So next up we have the perfume Alien. This is by oh I don't know is it Mugler? 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 I don't know I can't pronounce their name but yeah, this is Alien. This to me again is a strong perfume and I would wear this going out. Um, let me spray it because I forget what they smell like. This again is definitely a strong perfume and I think more of a going out perfume. This is the type of perfume that if I spray it and I wear it, I won't have to spray it again for a good few hours. It lasts a long time on me. Um, I wouldn't say, I really hard to like describe. I find it really hard to describe like fragrance notes where I think the underlying like fragrance is but yeah this one is again like a very strong feminine sexy type of perfume to me. Ugh, does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense when I say it like this. Like I don't know it's just really strong I don't know but this is definitely one of my ones to go out with I love it. Next one we have is the DKNY Golden Delicious. I'm not a huge lover of this. I bought this on the plane, um, so I didn't smell it beforehand, and I'm not a huge lover. I much prefer the green and the red ones, the DKNY Apple ones, because I just think they're lovely. This one just smells completely different. I don't think it smells anything like, yes, it is nice. I don't know, perhaps I have to wear it some more to kind of like fall in love with it, maybe. Don't know but again I think this is quite fruity just not as fruity as the other ones and I think that's kind of what's putting me off a little bit just because I'm so used to like the other DKNY apple ones being quite fruity and really really like fresh and summery and this one just doesn't smell as much as the other ones so I don't know I don't know but I do like that I just I haven't worn it that much I am running out of space 
more so perhaps I need to wear it a couple more times to kind of get a feel for it. The next one up is Gucci Bamboo. This one. This one is still it. Oh, oh, that is amazing. Gucci for me is a very like going out type of perfume, um, especially the bamboo one. And I also have Gucci Guilty. I think both of those are like going out perfumes. Um, Gucci Bamboo I think you can wear in a day as well, in like the daytime as well. But I think Gucci Guilty is quite strong. Like I'd wear that in the night. But this is lovely. There's such a feminine smell. It's kind of sweet. It's a little bit musky, I'd say. A tiny bit musky. Nothing too, like, musky, you know. But I love that. That's my second bottle <laughs> of Gucci Bamboo. I do really, really like that. And then, like I said, I also have Gucci Guilty. This just looks like this. It is a good, like, solid gold um, bottle. And, again, I do love this. But, like I said, it is a very strong perfume to me. So I would only wear this out in the evenings, like... If I was going for a meal or perhaps like going out drinking and stuff like that. That is the only time I would wear this because I think it's a bit more of a heavy perfume. So I think it is too heavy for daytime, if that makes sense. But I've not even like made a dent in that and I've already have a, I already got a new one in my wardrobe. I'm sure I have buy-in issues. Like, I just don't know where to stop. So next up we have the Jimmy Choo Illicit. I love this perfume. This perfume to me was my perfume last year of the year. Like I loved this perfume. I'm, as you can see, got a tiny, tiny bit left, but again, I'm trying to hold off because these, all these different perfumes have such a different range in prices from like obviously low end to like high end. This is, I'm sure this is about 50 pounds, for between 40 and 50 pound, I think. Um, but oh, this is such a lovely perfume. It's definitely a mixture of like sweet and floral and it smells amazing. I always get compliments when I wear this all the time and it lasts on me for hours. I would never buy a perfume anyway just on somebody else's recommendation. Like I'd have to always go and smell that perfume first. But I can honestly tell you that this smells amazing. So if you haven't smelt it, definitely check that one out. So the other ones that I have from Jimmy Choo, I have the Jimmy Choo Blossom, which is this little pink jar. And I also have a brand new Jimmy Choo Flash, which is just the first because this is like the follow-on, I think, from this one. But this is the first one, and I love it. As you can see, it is still, like, brand new in the box because that is my third bottle of the Flash. But this one is definitely, obviously, by, by the name you can tell, Blossom. It's more of a florally scent, but it's still quite fruity and summery at the same time. It's like some florals. It's lush. It's just amazing. But that one is stunning. Obviously, I can't show you the Flash. I'm just not opening it yet until I get through some of these but um the Jimmy Choo Flash is a stunning perfume as well and that was my favorite for a good two years so next up we have Victor and Rolf and we have Flower Bomb this is almost full because it is quite new to me I can always remember my friend in college when I was still in beauty therapy always used to wear this and it smelled stunning on her like literally the nicest smelling perfume I've ever smelled when I smelled it on her. And then when I bought it and I had it and I put it on, I just didn't like it that much on me. It just didn't smell the same. Obviously, they know it's not supposed to, but it smells lovely in the bottle. But when I just like sprayed on me, I don't think it just, it just doesn't smell that nice. I just don't think it suits me, which is obviously why I've not like used that much. But I do want to try and use it. I'm, I just think sometimes you get accustomed to like wearing the same perfumes that when you try new ones, you don't always like them first time, if that makes sense. But as you can tell by the name Flower Bomb, this is quite florally and also a bit musky. I do think there's a bit of musk hidden in the fragrance notes for this one. So next up is such an oldie, but oh my God, it is a newfound favorite. I haven't bought this for a good 10 years. How old am I? 25. So yeah, I bet I haven't bought this for a good 10 years since I was like 15 in school. Like this used to be the perfume that I used to wear to school and I haven't bought it since. But this is the Britney Spears Fantasy. I love this. First of all, I just love the packaging. I just think the packaging is stunning. Secondly, I bought this because my client kept wearing it and every time she walked into my salon room, it should smell amazing. It was such a nice smell. So I bought mine off Superdrug with the body lotion in a gift set for £20 um, back in January, I think. And I just, I love it. I haven't stopped wearing it. This is such a sweet perfume. Definitely a little bit of musk in there as well. And 
my mom used to hate this when I was um, a teenager. She didn't really like any of the Britney Spears perfumes. She thought they were like a cheap smell. But I wear this now and I only got to walk past and she's like, oh, what are you wearing? You smell lovely. So it just goes to show that over the years, your perfume like scents and your perfume preferences can change. Things can suit you that didn't suit you a couple of years ago. Do you know what I mean? And like other people can be more custom to that type of scent. Like my mom hated this 10 years ago when I wore it and she loves it now. She sm thinks it smells stunning on me. So love that. So next up we have the Paco Rabanne Lady Million. This again is one of my favourite perfumes. I love it. This is a lovely feminine perfume and it's also quite strong as well. I would wear this more of a like nighttime perfume, going out for a meal, going out like with the girls perhaps, stuff like that. But this is definitely more of a strong like um, woman womanly smell. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so hard for me to explain. I suck. I just love it. I just love it. It's so the next one up we have Ghost and it is the black like half moon one. I don't actually know the name of this because it just says Ghost but I don't know. This used to be a cult like classic. This when I was again a teenager it was so popular amongst me and my friends. We all had a bottle of this um, and I repurchased it about two years ago now I think. Um, when I went to Bath Christmas shopping with the girls because it was just such like a throwback. This is definitely a musky type of smell, but not not a musk that is like an old type of musk. It is like a sweet type of musk, I'd say, but it is stunning. And again, this lasts a long time on me. Next up, we have YSL Black Opium. If you watched my top five favourites, you would know that this was like in them because I just, I love this perfume. Um, I'm really all corner of it, actually. I'm going to have to repurchase. This to me, oh my god, it's the nicest smelling perfume in the world. I love it. I absolutely love this. I used to like bathe myself in this day, night, whatever. I used, always used to wear this. I've held back a little bit just because I'm so low at the bottom and it's such an expensive perfume. I've been trying to get through obviously all the other ones. Why I've got so many open, I don't know because you're only supposed to use one at a time you know, and then use that up and open another one. But no, I've got the whole collection open. But this, he dropped it then. <sighs> By far my like favourite perfume I think. I think it has to be given the title of like favourite perfume. I just I love it. So next up I have two Escada perfumes to talk about. The first one is Turquoise Summer and the other one is Agua del Sol. So pretty. I don't know if these were like limited edition. I think this was limited edition last year and this was limited edition the year before. I'm not too sure but these to me are such summery fruity fragrances. I love them. I don't ever wear these in the winter unless I only wear them from like March to August. As silly as that sounds. But they are dead. This one to me smells a bit mango-y. That's what it reminds me of, like a mango. Um, and this one is just like a fruit cocktail. I love it. These are such like fragrances. You know like when you go to the beach. Am I the only one who wears perfume to the beach? I like the pool. I don't know if I'm weird, but I do. But these are the perfumes that I would, these are the perfumes I'm going to take on all day actually. It's all summery, they're amazing, beautiful, beautiful. So next up I have a Nicki Minaj perfume, I don't know which one it is, Pink Friday? I don't know, I don't know which one it is, but oh yeah it is, it's Pink Friday. Ah, it's Pink Friday. And it looks like this. This again is stunning to me. Such a sweet smell, but I love it. I find that a lot of like celebrity perfumes are like sweet smelling. I don't know why, but I do. But this to me is lovely. I bought this last year in the sale, I think. But I love it. I actually haven't wore this for a while, which I'm... Oh, I love it. This actually reminds me, come to think of it, just spraying that. This reminds me of this. It's quite fruity, like a fruit cocktail. Oh, I love it. Oh, I might have to take that on all day as well. Oh, I really like that. I haven't smelled it for ages because I've worn it for ages. But yeah, that is the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday. Definitely a very fruity perfume. So next up we have Givenchy Ange au Dumont Le Secret Elixir. If that's how you pronounce it. I can't do a French accent so I don't know why I'm trying. But this one, oh it's lovely but it's such a strong perfume. Like you need one or two spritz of this and you are good to go. Hence why I haven't used a lot of it. Because it is such a strong perfume. Probably the strongest one that I've got out of my whole collection. Um, you just don't need a lot of spritz of this at all because it lasts so long that people can just smell it. 
Um, I bought this again because one of my clients, the same one, always fancy. But she's like a perfume addict like me. She always smells amazing. Um, she recommended this one to me as well. And I don't think you can get this in every type of perfume shop. I had to search online for this one. There's a few that are the same shape and the same style, um, but different colour bottles, but the same name. Like, I think, like this one says Le Secret. Um, I think the other one is just like Ange du Monde. Um, so if you are out and about and you see these in a shop, smell them first because there are a few different ones. But this one is definitely, like I said, more of a strong womanly perfume. Reminds me quite a lot actually of the Alien. They both smell quite similar if I'm honest. They are very similar type of perfumes. They are very strong womanly feminine perfumes. Quite seductive I'd say, like a seductive scent. So next up I have another Givenchy one and this is very irresistible. Irresistible? I don't know how to pronounce it in a French accent. Oh my god. We, have, Me and my mum have had this perfume, not this exact bottle, but this perfume in general for the for the last 10 years. I buy my mum a bottle of it every Christmas because it is a fa one of her favourite perfumes and I normally have a bottle every other Christmas because I got so many to get through. But this is just stunning. Oh, there's just no way to possibly describe this perfume until you smell it. The, again, there's a lot of these ones out. There's like the day one, it's a spring one, something else. But the original, original is the ones that we like. They smell stunning. I love it. Definitely a woman's perfume. Very feminine, very flirty, very girly. But oh, I love it. I love it. And then next up we have another Emporio Armani. And this one is in the scent She. Um, again, I like this. I haven't worn it for a while though. I like it, but I'm not a huge lover of it. I used to really like it when I was younger because my mum used to have it, but I don't know. It's just not one that I grab for all that often. If I'm honest, it smells a lot like the he version, like obviously the man version. I think that kind of what throws me off a little bit because I think it has that aftershave undertone. Do you know what I mean? I think it's quite feminine and masculine mixed. I think that's what throws me off a little bit. It's lovely, don't get me wrong, but it is not my favourite, hence why I don't pick for it that much. <laughs> and then last but not least, I have another two Britney Spears perfumes to talk about. So the first one is, they're quite dusty, I'm glad to dust these. Oh, God damn. The first one I want to talk about is Radiance. Oh, I love this. Like, Britney's packaging for her perfumes is just bomb. I mean, this is like a giant gem. I love it. But this one, Oh my god, Radiance is so nice. Oh, I love it. It's so fruity. It's amazing. Oh, it's lovely. And I always get loads of compliments wearing this as well. Definitely one of my all-time faves and such a classic, obviously, by Britney Spears. And then the next one I have is exactly the same, but it is the Cosmic Radiance. And again, it's within the gem bottle. But this is a new fragrance. As you can tell, it is still quite full. But this smells very similar to the normal Radiance, but it's more of a like nighttime perfume. So it does smell, still smells fruity, but it has more of that like nighttime edge to it. So it's more strong, if that makes sense. Not as sweet and fruity, more fruity, just going out fruity. I don't know, but that's what it smells like to me. But I love it. And I only bought the mini version because obviously I didn't know if I would really like it on, but I do love it. So when I run up with this, I will be purchasing the full size because I just, I love them, I love them. And that was basically it guys, that is all of my perfumes. So yeah, I do have a ridiculous amount, I know, but I can't help it, I love perfumes. I am really sorry if my describing was like all the shit, like it's really hard to describe a perfume because a lot of them smell like sweet to me but could smell different to somebody else, so it's really hard to just go by what I'm trying to explain. So I hope the fragrance notes on the screen kind of helped a little bit to, for you to get an idea as to what the actual fragrance smells like. But if you are interested in purchasing any of these perfumes, I do recommend you go to smell them in a shop yourself because everybody's scents are different. I could love something that you could hate and vice versa. So definitely go and smell perfumes before you buy them just to make sure you like them. Otherwise, it is a waste of money. So I'm really sorry this was so overdue, but I did hope and I do hope that it was worth the wait. If you're not already guys, don't forget to come follow me on all of my other social media accounts. The information should be popped up on the screen right about now. And yeah, 
that's pretty much all I wanted to say. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, as you all know by now. It really helps me out a lot. And don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're not already, so you don't miss any of my videos that I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday. Thank you so much for watching once more, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic week wherever you are, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. It's gonna have to go on silent. So next one I have is the DKN Wild, D Wild? What? But don't, if you're not already, no, no. Alrighty. Jesus. Surprising what you got there, look. Right, let me turn my camera on. I know it's not recording, but... Oh my god, it's still recording.